Good evening. We have several breaking news stories at this hour, including a couple accused of abusing a child at its daycare center. But we start with Governor Cuomo announcing the state plans to sue the International Joint Commission. People living along Lake Ontario have pushed for more action from the IJC after flooding has continued to devastate their homes and businesses. Calls for change turned into calls to take the IJC to court. Today, Cuomo said that is exactly what New York State plans to do. Kayla Green was at this landmark news conference today. Kayla, why is the governor taking the IJC to court, and is it even something the state has the authority to do? Well, John, I'll get to that a little bit later, but let me tell you, today the governor admits this case is going to be hard, but he says that after trying everything else to get through to the IJC to get them to make some changes, this is what it's come to. The state is suing the IJC for compensatory damages, meaning the damages done to so many homes and businesses due to flooding. After the IJC established Plan 2014 back in 2017, people living along the Lake Ontario shoreline experienced severe flooding. A couple years later, in 2019, even worse flooding. Cuomo says between both floods, the state has paid over a billion dollars in relief, which is taxpayer money. He says it's the IJC's job to manage the balance between shipping and flooding, between New York and Canada, and extra inflow from climate change. But despite many efforts, Cuomo says nothing has changed. The governor says it's unfair for New Yorkers to have to pay for this, and he's ready to fight this hard case to get some justice for the people who have suffered. It is a cry for help from the state of New York, and our expression of frustration that they have done absolutely nothing to help New Yorkers deal with this situation. The governor is also spending a record $300 million to pay for long-term structural change along the shoreline. This includes recreation of natural resources and $20 million for homeowner relief. John? All right, Kayla, thank you. A spokesperson for the IJC said this in a statement, quote, We are aware of the governor's announcement, but have not received formal notice of any action that may have been taken.